I always knew I was going to become a hematologist. It combined the things that I really liked, which was scientific pursuit, pathology, but also clinical medicine. So for me, it was really like putting a glove on my hand. I'm not really interested in science for science sake. I'm interested in using science as a way of improving the outcomes of my patients. And I would say that it's rare that you find a laboratory scientist, investigator, physician wrapped up all in one in the way that Ron Hoffman is. What I think really makes him an amazing physician is the way he interacts with patients. The patient feels that they are the only person in his practice that matters to him. And when you're a trainee seeing that, it's really inspiring. I came to Mount Sinai in 1974 as a fellow. Mount Sinai was really one of the centers of excellence of hematology in the United States. It was a tremendous opportunity for me to learn lessons from the laboratory and from observing the patients to make me a better physician scientist. Ron Hoffman is one of the legendary hematologists of our generation. He has received the most prestigious awards in hematology and is the editor of the leading hematology textbook. My work is focused on a group of blood cancers that are called myeloproliferative neoplasms. My underlying hypothesis is that since these blood cancers are associated not only with defects in stem cells, but also in the microenvironment that supports these stem cells, the hope is to develop combinations of drugs that would diminish or eliminate these stem cells and prolong survival of patients with these blood cancers. He, many years ago, had the, the foresight to develop a consortium to conquer these diseases with a very ambitious goal of cure. We showed that we could cure patients with myelofibrosis with stem cell transplants. So the hope is that we can essentially cure a myelofibrosis without doing stem cell transplants. But there's a whole variety of drugs that we now have under development, and I really believe that within the next decade or that we're going to accomplish this goal. The Tisch Cancer Institute's really benefited greatly from his wisdom and his knowledge. He's really been able to show students, faculty, postdocs, trainees, what it is to be a, a great cancer scientist. I want my trainees to challenge orthodoxy. I want them to break through the glass. I want them to make a difference. I think those people are the people that are going to carry this fight forward. Ron Hoffman is deserving of the Jacoby Medal because his mentorship has spanned over multiple decades, multiple faculty members contributed to science in a significant way, and their careers can be directly linked to the influence of, of Ron Hoffman. I'd like to thank for my success my family, my mentors, especially Ralph Selusky and Ishmael Zanjani and Dr. Wasserman, and in particular Bernie Forget, the researchers who I deal with on a daily basis. And most importantly, I'd like to thank the nurses and also the staff of the Tisch Cancer Institute that have really allowed us to uh, flourish in this environment. I'm excited about the next discovery.